I think the Mayo Clinic in Arizona residency program in radiation oncology has in some ways the best of both worlds. We have a small program with many benefits of one-on-one -on -one attention with the faculty, with huge opportunities for research because there isn't a lot of competition between the residents. But in this fantastic healthcare environment with the values of Mayo Clinic, with world-class physicians, with the Mayo Clinic name, and all the support that the graduate medical education community at Mayo Clinic uh, provides. So the mentorship program here really begins during the PGY-1 year. We actually start the residents working on research projects. Typically what ends up happening is that very first project will allow the resident to have other projects that spin off of that over the next several years. Coming in as a PGY-2, I wasn't really sure which direction I wanted to go and one of the attendings just kind of grabbed me and started me on an esophagus project uh, looking at proton therapy. And from there, really once you learn more about which disease sites you like, there's a project for you. We start our program and we're paired with an attending physician for a three month period. And so during that three month period, we're always able to access our attendings by phone, by email. We're able to establish a really good rapport that helps us develop a bond and makes us feel more confident in, in the treatment decisions that we make together. I think Mayo has a lot of extra resources to really help uh, improve our residency experience and a lot of that's built into the support staff that we have. We're lucky enough to have a statistician in our department to help uh, create databases, uh, do our statistician work for us. When we go to present or, or build our poster, we have a support staff that helps create our figures and actually will put together our poster for us. Uh, when we go to write and publish papers, we have a support staff that will review and edit our papers and make them ready for submission to really help us magnify our research opportunities and improve our finished product. If you have research projects and you submit them to conferences, either international or national meetings, they're very willing to help fund those uh, trips. It helps with getting your research out there in front of other people. It's been a great opportunity to meet others in the field and to uh, learn uh, what other people are doing to advance the field of radiation oncology. So when we start here, they provide us a laptop that's free of charge. Uh, they provide us our books, and when we need new books, they're willing to purchase them for us. When it comes to day-to-day -day activities, they provide us uh, meal monies. There's no extra charges for parking. So as an institution as a whole, Mayo does a lot to really make you feel valued. Another important component of mentorship is helping the residents to find jobs upon graduation from residency. And we start that process early so that by the time they have sat for their physics and radiobiology boards, July of their PGY-5 year, now we can go into the job search mode and we're ready to do that. Once they gave me the tools to develop my own protocol, write it, get it through the proper committees, get it approved, and once it gets open, I'm, you know, that sense of accomplishment is going to be great and it also looks great for you know, future job prospects and applications. Working with a great team of surgeons and medical oncologists and radiologists and pathologists not only makes it enjoyable but also very satisfying to know that you can give our patients really the top level of care. And that's transmitted to our learners who get to work in that environment, get to model that behavior, and are treated uh, as full members of the team. The culture here allows us to be very collegial and form friendships and really have a lot of unity. And that really will extend beyond the work hours and beyond the walls of this institution. I definitely feel that the people here are my friends and we're all very close. The tight-knit nature of the program and um, being able to reach out to the other residents for help and for guidance and, and even for just taking a break is really invaluable. If you ask our patients, they will get that sense of the positivity that is within the department. The overall goal of the department is to allow the resident to achieve complete independence by the time that they're done training over a five-year period. Not only do we want to address that independence with their clinical decision-making and their ability to take care of patients, 
but we also want them to develop leadership skills as well as to develop the skill set to be an independent researcher should they choose to do that in their future career. I know just through the training I've already gone through that I'm going to be, you know, five steps ahead compared to other residents who have trained at other programs. We take care of each other just like we take care of our patients. Residency is a great time of life to uh, learn your craft and to get ready for uh, your future career.